Last night, in a noteworthy act of aggression, Russia deployed five KH-59 cruise missiles against Ukraine, as reported by the Air Force on October 16, 2023. Ukraine claims that successfully intercepted two of these missiles. The incident stood out for two reasons, the simultaneous utilization of the missile strike and Shahed strike, and the uncommon sight of Russia launching such a large number of KH-59 missiles at once. Because of these factors, it's worth delving into the specifics of this particular Russian missile. Primarily associated with tactical aviation, the KH-59 is compatible with the Su-24M, Su-30, Su-34, Su-35, and Su-57. It exists in three main variants, KH-59, KH-59M, and KH-59MK2, with two sub-variants, each possessing a distinct launch range of 45 km, up to 110 km, and up to 285 km, respectively. Given its considerable launch range and an improved guidance system that's devoid of the shortcomings noted in the KH-59 and KH-59M, the KH-59MK2 variant was likely the missile of choice for the Russian strikes against Ukraine. Specific characteristics of the KH-59MK2 include a fuselage length of 4.2 meters, a wingspan of 2.45 meters, a takeoff weight of 770 kilograms, and a warhead weighing 310 kilograms, either in penetrating or cluster form. Worth mentioning is the use of the TRDD-50B engine in the missile, a version of the same engine used in long-range cruise missiles like the KH-101 and 3M14 caliber. Since the onset of the full-scale invasion, Russia has been employing KH-59 missiles on Ukrainian civilian infrastructure. Instances include the mid-April 2022 Su-57 aircraft launching the KH-59 at the port of Odessa and the Kirovograd region, and in March 2022, Russian Su-35s attacked oil facilities in the Rivna region with KH-59 missiles gradually inflicting significant destruction. Despite its size, a fuselage length of 4.2 meters as compared to the 7.45 meters of KH-101, the small-scale KH-59 poses a considerable challenge to intercept. Achieving this feat is a testament to the exceptional skill of Ukrainian air defense soldiers. Recall also that a successful attack was carried out on October 1, 2023, against the Smolensk Aviation Plant, a key player in the production of KH-59 aviation missiles. This establishment forms an integral part of Russia's military industry. The KH-59 OVAD is an air-to-ground missile with TV guidance. It was developed in the Soviet Union in the 1970s as a standoff weapon for the Su-24 and MiG-27 ground attack aircraft. Initial version of the KH-59 was based on the KH-58, however this design was abandoned as the KH-58 traveled too fast for visual target guidance. This missile entered service during the 1980s. Western reporting name of this missile is S-13 or Kingbolt.
Initially it was used only on the Su-24M. Other Soviet aircraft, such as the MiG-27M, Su-17M3, Su-22M4 and some variants of the Su-25 ground attack aircraft could also carry this missile, but required an APK-9 datalink pod. However in service this option was not used and the Su-24M was the only aircraft to carry this missile. This missile was first publicly revealed in 1991. The KH-59 missile and its variants have been exported to Algeria, China, India, Indonesia, Malaysia, Venezuela, and Vietnam. Russians used the KH-59 missiles during the First and Second Chechen Wars. The baseline KH-59 had a range of 200 kilometers. This missile had a radar altimeter and traveled 100 to 1000 meters above ground. This missile has a launch weight of 930 kg. It carries a 320 kg warhead. Target coordinates were fed to the missile prior to its launch. After launch the missile used inertial guidance. On terminal stage, around 10 km from the target location, a TV guidance system is activated. The pilot visually identifies the target and locks the missile onto it. This missile has a SEP of around 3 meters. This missile can be launched at speeds of 600 to 1000 kilometers and at altitudes of up to 11 kilometers. It seems that the original KH-59 is no longer used. It was replaced in service by an improved KH-59M missile, which is used by the Russian Air Force and has been exported to some countries. Between 2008 and 2015 Russia delivered some 200 KH-59 missiles of different variants to China for their Su-30MK-2 multi-role fighters. KH-59MK-2 is a more modern version. It was first publicly revealed in 2015. Despite similar designation, this is essentially a completely new weapon. Sometimes it is referred as the KH-69. Western reporting name of this missile is AS-22. This is an air-launched cruise missile, designed for the Russian Su-57 next-generation stealthy Moody roll fighter. This missile has rectangular shape with pop-out wings. This missile is 4.2 meters long, has a wingspan of 2.5 meters. It has a launch weight of 770 kilograms. 